Oh, I am. I'm going to show you this mod. The little mod called the British Consulate General by Cast Capo. Um, yeah, for the PS4, this one. It says, the British Consulate General is designed to build upon the known law of the UK in the Fallout franchise. You'll discover some of our homegrown law regarding some of the factions, corporations and items found in the UK before the Great War. The British Consulate General received many post-launch updates expanding upon the building itself and the detail of discoverable items, short stories and much more. You'll discover the British Consulate General near Green Tech Genetics Building. When you are, in, when you are inside the British Consulate General, there are logs and items for you to discover. You'll also want to gain access to the British Consulate General Armoury. You can do this by finding the key. The key is located in the lobby of the Green Tech Genetic Building. So there you go, that's what it says about it. And here I am inside the British Consulate Building. And by my accent, you can probably tell I am English, so this is why I wanted to check it out. It's supposed to have been like um, September. Um, the, uh, the All the mods were supposed to be like, well, a lot of the mods were going to be like somehow related to Britain. I don't know, they did it like a concept for that month, but I only, ever, I only ever saw this one having anything to do with Britain. It was saying there was something like a um, a focus on like British mods on the side. This is the only one I actually saw that had anything to do with the UK. I don't know if there were more, so if there, if there were more, let me know in the comments so I can have a look at them. I just thought I'd make a video going around this place. It's, um... I wish I should have finished eating before I actually started this. <laughs> There's not a lot to see in here, to be honest. There's just a few notes, and uh, I won't bother reading the notes out because you can just see them. Pause the video if you want to see the notes and the computer entries. It's just for you to have a look if you're, uh, yeah, if you want to just see if it's worth you getting yourself. It does seem like it's going to have extra content added to it as it goes along, which uh, could be quite cool. There's quite a lot of reading actually on these terminals. You just get a feel of what's happening that like, during that time. My bloody phone's beeping like a good one. Guess when I'm trying to make a video. Nothing important, I'm sure. Yeah, plenty to read. I might have read it too quick. I wasn't sure if I was going to read it on this video or not, but now it's a bit too small for me to actually see to actually read it back to you. So you just have to pause it if you want to read it yourself. There's a, like, just the typical tales that you get in, you know, this this was like the consulate, the British consulate, that when the bombs fell, they were hoping to get saved by like the SAS or something, I think it says. And um, yeah, they never came, obviously. And they tried to tunnel into this, uh, this armory. The door's locked. They wanted to get guns so they couldn't, you know, if they had to go out scavenging at all. I think said someone went out scavenging and never returned. And I think also there was some sort of um, under plot about a spy. I'm guessing it's like a James Bond kind of reference. One of the people there was a spy and his mission was to go to Gene Tech Genetics and something up at some point. And I think that's the guy you find the key on when you go to degree. He obviously never made, made it out of Green Tech Genetics. Yeah, that door there doesn't open. And if you look at the other side, it's a blocked out door, but I don't know why it didn't make it inaccessible or blocked, rather than making it look like it's trying to open. It's a bit of a weird one there. Um, yeah, but on the other side, you can see it's blocked. So I don't know why, yeah, they should just made it inaccessible instead of making it half open. I don't know if there's a reason for that. I thought there was like a glitch through here, but it's not, it's just the window on the other side. You can quite often, yeah, you can hear these little buggers all around, but you can't always see them. Um, they're quite like quite hidden but you kept them sort of looking for them so you didn't know where they were but there's a lot of different sizes a little tiny one the giant one 
But uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I've actually said that before because I'm, I'm recording a bit for a third time because I, I end up going back and get rid of all the, the long door sequences. It took a long time to get for the door, so I went back and clicked all those bits out. There's, there's another one. Quite green blood on these little buggers as well. Green as I remember seeing it before. Maybe it's the lighting in here. Yeah, it's just more notes. Some Americans turned up. Uh, yeah, you don't really get the full story of what happened to the people. You don't really find out. Another thing that um, happens here, you might not be able to hear it in the video because I don't think it comes out. You can hear um, Travis Lonely Miles talking. You can't hear the music though, but that is like in the building itself. It's like music pumped over the speakers or something because it's not on my my foot for it. I haven't got my radio on. So uh, I don't know. So that. I don't know if that's going to be something that will be annoying to people who come here who maybe don't want to hear the radio all the time. It didn't seem to be any way of turning it off. But I'm not sure if this, unless they do some, you know, some additional stuff to it, but it quite could well be that on PC you've got loads of like NPCs here or something and loads more information. But uh, on the poor old PS4 version, it's. Um, it's pretty lackluster <laughs> and mediocre because we are the we are the poor man of, the, of our Sony PS4s who aren't allowed to get all the blinking uh, mods like the other consoles can. Um, yeah, sucks to be us, really. I was looking up this fella who made this uh, mod. He's only made actually. He says he's got three mods on Bethesda Net. Cat, Cast Capo, his name is. But it's actually three versions of the same mod. So originally made it on the PC back in 2016, and the PS4 version only came out June 16th, 2021. That was the last time it was updated. So, yeah, um, I'm not sure if any more versions are going to be coming out in the future on the PS4 as well, or whether they finished with it now. But, um, yeah, it's all right to come for a little bit of exploration. I'm kind of wish there had been some ghouls here or something, or some raiders, or even some gunners taken over. Would have been a bit more interesting would have given it a bit more like playability if you know what i mean otherwise it's really just walking around reading consoles picking up notes you know but, but one thing i will say about them is they're they're pretty well written compared to some mod notes that i've seen where the uh you know <laughs> spelling's been wrong and so forth you know what do you expect it's a it's a british i'm guessing it's a british modder i've you know to actually do some english content I'm guessing they're British, and you know we, we just have a better you know we just have a better command of the English language, obviously. <laughs> Apart from this bit here, where it was written on your weird text because the bombs are just falling, and it's uh he's kind of like a panicking. I'm guessing there's a few Britishisms as well. At one point, he calls them a, a tosser or something, <laughs> which is kind of definitely a, a definitely a British turn of phrase to call someone a tosser. Welcome, Ambassador Smith. Yeah, there was definitely like an undercurrent of some kind of Jane Bond activities going on. And the guy who's got the key to the armory, he ends up going to Green Tech building um, to get some, uh, he was doing some spying or something. But when he went, he took the armory key with him and he never makes it back again. It's kind of weird. Why don't they send someone to the Green Tech building to look for him? I'm sure it says in one of the consoles that that's where he's gone. So you would have thought they would have noticed that and gone to Green Tech to find him. Uh, so they could get access to the weapons. Instead they were out scavenging without weapons. And uh, yeah, one of them gets injured. The cipher ring, that was it. It's like the secret spy society going on. Running out of food, as you'd expect. We need more food. Thank God it's not a lot, but oh, we have more food. Sorry. Thank God it's not a lot, but it should last us for at least a month. Or something. Yeah. This is why I don't do the reading on these bits, because I can't see it as well on the little screen. As a camera, I'm actually playing the game. But on the edit screen, it, it comes out really small. I don't know if I'm going to read it at the same pace that I read it uh, you know, in my head when I was watching it, playing it. 
Yeah, so some Americans turn up, a woman called Jefferson, heal the guy who's been injured, but then he starts like being a bit annoyed by them and uh, they start clashing. But as I said, I think I said mentioned before, unless that bit's been edited out when I've changed some of the voices, but um, you don't actually find out what happens to everybody. There's no kind of like end game, no kind of like payoff of what happens to the group. They're certainly not here anymore. It would have been cool if they were ghouls, but uh, no. Maybe they are on the PC version because obviously you've got more mods. Fuck, 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 bloody fuck. Malchus is fucking dead. Died in an accident. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Red Roach attack. But I can't find them. They're kind of slightly elusive. Definitely looked like I was actually fighting them one there, didn't they? You had the the bar come up, but anyway. Broken. Oh, that door is inaccessible as well. Okay. They yeah, look a tiny, little, tiny <laughs> little red roach. Barely worth, barely worth swinging me axe for. But you know, tiny red roaches grow into big red roaches. Quite why they think they have the ability to take on, you know, human beings. I wonder if Fallout 5 will have like swarms. That would be quite creepy if you got like a 20 red roaches coming at once. You know, like you get the ghoul attacks. They, they're real nasty when they get a ghoul horde attacking. But, um, yeah, like a hundred bloody well red roaches. I wasn't sure if you were supposed to be able to get around here, but I was supposed to get over here with a jetpack. Okay, I think you can. Yeah, you, just, you can get here without a jetpack, I'm George, by going through one of the other doors. It's walking around a different direction, that's all. It's another note. Notes everywhere. And another note. It's my first day out of the city and in the forest. Uh. I think this is Malchus, isn't it? I think this is Malchus's terminal. The Tunnel of Mystery. Yeah, welcome, Malchus. Is that a message to Malchus? Or was that Malchus writing himself? Or is that his laptop saying, welcome, Malchus, to him? Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. He's celebrating that his his girlfriend's old husband got killed, showing he's he's getting not he's getting it on with her now. Yes, this is Malchus, the guy who ends up getting killed. We just saw that on the previous terminal. Doing some kind of crazy experiments. Uh, yeah. He shouldn't have bothered. We only got him killed. A nice tragic story, because uh, that means Lizzie's lost a second boyfriend. And look at the size of this bloody red roach. He's a big bugger. That's why you kill him when they're small, because they grow to this size. I couldn't get him because the chair for some reason tried to jump over the chair to finish it off. That was Maltus's hollow hollow disc. I had to go, it took forever to get through the bloody miscellaneous tab so we can get to it. We really should make it that the miscellaneous tab shows the most recent items picked up at the top. 
just makes so much more sense. Or maybe after like a, a couple of days in game, they can go into the alphabetical order. Just the fault. This is Project Nuka, which eventually blew him up. Anyway, on to the invention. I found some Nuka Cola in Bart's room and figured I could make an explosive out of it. Kind of like those cap mines Lawrence is mumbling about in his sleep. Only this one will blow up soda instead. And yeah, this is why I don't try to read the Blanking Will messages because I read it quicker in my head probably. <laughs> so I could never actually read the whole message. Remember, this is everything. I think this might be everything. Yeah, so just gonna head on out, get over to Green Tech. There's a bit of food there if you need it. Not too bad a place in Survivor. Actually, was there any beds in here? I can't remember if there's any beds in here. Is this playthrough I'm not doing Survivor mode? I don't think there was any beds. This is the one that I missed earlier. Cherry and Chase. Are they someone you should know from the game? Cherry and Chase. I think just a little bit of, of like, colour, a little bit of uh, storytelling, really. All as the richness of the tapestry that is Fallout 4. Right. I said that, I was checking that door again, still doesn't open. But I realised when I went outside, it's, um, it's blocked off on the other side, which is what made it annoying that it couldn't just be put as being inaccessible. I think I'm over encumbered, so I have to throw something away before I go any further. There we go. I don't know why I pick things up, I don't need to pick up anything, it's just, it's just habit. You can't stop yourself, even though you really don't need anything. Oh, I thought I'd got rid of most of that. Oh yeah, it was. I got rid of a lot of the uh, the blackness. Right, just to walk to Green Tech Genetics. I think I have to consult my maps to make sure I'm going the right direction. There you go. It's the little walk. Just a little tiny walk. Or well, you can take the jetpack if you've got a jetpack. I think this is the spot where you. Uh, get the courses um, mind brain chip whatever you want to call it uh, that allows you to teleport into the institute in the main game I believe this is this location uh, plenty of dead gunners about although I don't go far enough into it to see if all the dead gunners are still there but there's a dead gunner in the lobby still a naked dead gunner so I'm assuming that I uh, I must have I must have raided him I suppose I must have looted his body and taken every stitch that he wore I think this is the location we find the quartz from anyway. I don't think it's the location where they all go mad from the gas. But that's a different layout and there's more dead ones outside as well. So I'm looking around for the key. It's not too difficult to find it actually. You will get a location in a second, fear not. It's down on the ground. They see it just for a second. There it is, next to the skeleton. Armory key for British Consulate. So that must be whatever his name was, Parker. I can't remember what his name was now, Turner. Back of a turn overdrive, I don't remember. But yeah, there's the key. So let's get back to the British consulate. It was a bit laggy. I'm not sure if I mentioned it already on this video. But it was a bit. It was a bit laggy around the area with the new build, new building, particularly when I was first getting there. So yeah, I ended up teleporting. I don't even say any time, but I think it was maybe feeling a bit laggy, so I teleported to ensure there wouldn't be any lag and I wouldn't get held up. Right, so now I'm just trying to find the bloody well uh, steps down to the armory again. Through one of these doors. Right, and I totally forgot that there was a uh, mention of sentry guns. I just walked in, saw the sentry gun, and walked back out again. Whoop, out I go. <laughs> just about made it out without getting shot up. Yeah, if you come in here in survival mode, do not, do not get the laser turret because they're pretty, uh, pretty damn deadly. If you're, particularly if you're low survival mode. See, you should really be able to crawl through that blinking hole there, shouldn't you? Really, <laughs> but no, that doesn't work in in video games.
There's another turret around here, I believe. Do 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 machine guns that laser pistol I didn't even realize I picked up a laser um, gun I ended up giving it to one of my settlers without even seeing what he does so I don't know if it's a, a potent weapon or not um, bit of medic stuff some fusion cores like RM I'm not sure what RM armor is but I think it actually was quite good uh, protection actually but I kind of just stuck with the armor that I've got I'm like it's, you know kind of like level 150 I'm not really getting bothered by anything in this playthrough if I was in um, uh, survival mode, I might use it, but then it hasn't got the extra bonuses that you get with the, you know, your, your good armor that you pick up along the way. And I think that's basically it. Not much else to see. I don't know if there's going to be any more updates for it. I don't know if this is of any use to anybody, but uh, yeah, I've made it now. So yeah, cheers for watching. Uh, check out some of my other videos. I'll put the uh, put the links at the end. You can check them out if you want. Look, check out that one. WWGD. That's a good one, that.